There was a plant I heard of called an aspen that grew quite tall above the ground, had deep system of roots. Most people regarded the plant as fairly normal until they dug deep down and examined the roots. The roots appeared to connect each aspen to its neighbours and so on for a very long way. My thoughts at this moment are that those side roots may connect to other tubers and others continuing for a great distance. So even removing this one tuber, it might cure the problem for a little while, it won't stop the soil moss for long. I think we may have to try a more coordinated approach than just digging up an isolated tuber. Oh my, I see where you are going with this, or rather where the soil moss is going with this. I think we had best talk to Leader and have another meeting. Still, at least we can get rid of this pest. In the meantime, how do you suppose we handle it from here? My thoughts hadn't really gone beyond seeing if it actually existed, said Kylo. However, now we've located it, we best stop it from doing any more harm. The tube is probably both a water store and a food store, so we should try to isolate it from the rest of the plant and then get it out of the hole. Well, let me see. Do you have something you could use to tie off the roots? We have some twine, which we use for a variety of things. We could use some of that, said one of the diggers. Gailo didn't know. Well, if you tie off each of the root strand of the twine in two places, really tight, and then cut between the strands, you might be able to lift it out of the hole. Sounds like a plan, the man with the twine said enthusiastically. It seems a strange thing to do, Gala chosen, farmer said to him, quietly. Why do we not just puncture the skin, drain out all the water, and then lift it out of the hole? It would be much lighter and easier to lift. It's true it would be easier to lift without the water or whatever liquids inside it, replied Gala quietly. However, currently we do not know what the water might contain. On the downside, might be a thing that is responsible for killing all of those animals a while back. Looking on the brighter side, it may contain a very good store of food that people could eat. Either way, we wouldn't really want to burst it in the middle of your crop fields, would we? You are correct. I should have thought of that. I am still too focused on getting rid of the soil moss, and I can't think either one step backwards or two steps forward. I am glad you are here to think of these things. Still, I think we can leave these good folk to carry on whilst we go and see the leader. Farmer then lightly held Gala by the elbow and led him away from the hole towards the middle of the village, heading in the general direction of the Mayflower and the meeting hall. The majority of the fields they passed were empty. Gala supposed that the nearby workers had been deputised as hole diggers. As they neared the meeting hall, Farmer veered off to one side and stood outside a craft house of some description. It recently been extended at the back and had a chimney coming out of the top for the extension. Farmer asked for permission to enter, which was quickly granted, and Farmer indicated that Gaila should follow him inside.